Hello YouTube, and this is Sean coming at you with a different type of video. Um, I've gotten requests to actually do the species series, and I just I thought I'd start it off with one of my personal favorite fish, the Java loach, or as many as many people will see it, the black coolie loach or chocolate loach. The Java loach, Pangeo oblonga, as I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Has a geo well is from Borneo, Indonesia, Sumatra, and Mal and Peninsular Malaysia. Um, they have an adult size of about three and a half inches. Females being larger than males. Um, you can keep you can keep these fish in a of seventy three to to seventy seven degrees Fahrenheit in a pH of six point three to seven point two. Um, when it comes to, to sexual dimorphism, they don't really have an official version, be an official way beyond the plump females during breeding. Um, these are bottom feeding fish, as you might be able to notice from the picture. And even though they aren't exactly schooling fish, they prefer to be in groups of four or more because they, they seem to be more active and more social. They're very peaceful and many people will end up like accidentally overfeeding them because because of their strange body shape, they have a small but elastic stomach, which also comes from that eel-like shape and the downward pointed mouth so they'll scavenge on uneaten flakes which they will immediately notice when once it reaches the bottom even though they have hope they have bad eyesight as you can small small tiny black eyes and pick up most of their senses from those four sets of barbells around their mouth um On these fish have only been bred in captivity once, and that was an extreme accident, according to the person who did it. They had, from what from what I know of the report, they had their the loaches in their community tank, and when they a few days later. They noticed a whole lot of small eel-like things coming out of the gravel. Those happened to be baby loaches. So it's believed that they spawn in groups and no parental care is believed to be given. These fish have a light. Um, they are they definitely are community safe and actually will end up being picked on by fish because of how safe, how community safe they are. But they do have a defense. I do not have a picture of it because I forgot to add it, but they have in between, they have two small spines that they can pull, they can like fold forward. I noticed this when I had to net one and it, the, Two, and the spines got hooked in the net. And those are extremely sharp and they'll use that as a kind of defense if they get caught by something. Um, and also, these are, when it comes to ease of care, these are intermediate fish because they have small scales and are even considered scaleless. So the slightest disease can definitely attack them. I or well, as you guys know I have two two Java loaches. I did have four, but a few months ago there was an ick problem and it killed two of them. It was horrible. I still sad about that day. Um I'd like to know if you guys have ever had the black coolie loach or Java loach or chocolate loach. And what are your experiences with it? 
Also, could you comment what type of fish you would want me to do next or what other things you want to see? Leave you and oh, oh, yes, please don't leave. I, I just remembered something. These fish have extremely sensitive barbells. It's better to keep them in a sandy substrate like you see in this picture. That way they can burrow as they would normally do. Or they'll attempt to burrow under your decorations. Mine always burrowed underneath the rocks and all the, every little thing that they could. And they, they're nocturnal normally. But once they get used to your feeding schedule, they'll start to come out during the day and even just sit on top of decorations and right beneath the light. And it's pretty interesting. Um, that's all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave suggestions for what you want to see. See ya.